okay this dante question we should uh we should yep. dive into slightly here do you have to install dante virtual sound card to get dante ndi bridge to work or is it just built in i asked because our windows server is virtualized and audinate only sells a 10 times higher price dvs for virtual machines Ooh, that's really interesting i didn't know they did that yeah um it does not necessarily need um, Dante Virtual Sound Card. Actually, it doesn't need it at all, um, now that I think about it. So essentially, let's just pop on over. Um, Dante Controller, right? So Dante NDI Bridge pops up as a source inside um, controller. So as a received source and as a tr transmitter source. So um i'm also using my rednet to send it to my avio usb um, i was using dante virtual sound card for a little bit so i was um using that just for my regular um just getting my dante's onto my computer uh, but i did get one of those avios so that way i don't have to use my nick card um, for ingesting that dante anymore i can just do that on that usb device um but in any case, um, as you can see, I don't have Dante Virtual Sound Card running over here. I'm still able to select um, multiple um, Dante sources going into Dante Bridge. So on this first column, those that's my RedNet microphones. So that's going into inputs one and two. Um, three and four, I have it plugged into um, inputs two. And then I also have a, what is it, a Neutrik um, D-Pro microphone input um, Dante device. So I'm sending those also to inputs uh, five and six and seven and eight. Um, I actually have one of my guitars plugged into that. So I'm able to flip um, Dante audio, you know, uh, guitar streams into NDI and then be able to like quickly, um, you know, jam with studio monitor open. Uh, right. without having to open up Pro Tools or anything like that. Super easy. So oh, that's pretty cool. Yep. Nice. Right. So that's on that uh, five and six channel. 